make some pain for the school. Only good to my household. Gotta treat these women with man. It's win to get in time. Watch the NBA play-in tournament April 12th through the 15th on ESPN and TNT. And on April 13th on ESPN, redeem a locker code for exclusive NBA 2K content. Welcome to season six in my team, Zero Gravity. It might be zero gravity, but there are so many rewards to earn. Let's start with the level 40 reward card. It's the 6'8 rookie sensation that has been dazzling NBA fans. None other than Dark Matter Josh Giddy. There are a bunch of other Dark Matter reward cards available as well, including Bradley Beal from Triple Threat Online, Dikembe Mutombo from Token Rewards, Big Game James Worthy from Clutch Time, and more. Plus, the reward card for earning all six rings in Limited this season is now going to be chosen by you, the community. So make sure you're following the mode on Twitter at NBA2K underscore my team for all the latest details. Season six also brings exciting new agendas and Invincible Dirk, but more on that one later. So for now, get out there and get to level 40 because Dark Matter Josh Giddy is waiting for you. And trust me, this card can do just about everything. The action always in full swing here. The French Quarter and tonight is no different. Here in New Orleans, Louisiana. Welcome everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for this NBA presentation. And tonight, it's the New Orleans Pelicans going up against the Houston Rockets. Welcome everyone to the broadcast table. Chris Weber to my right, Greg Anthony to my left. I'm Kevin Harlan and David Aldridge on our sideline. DA, it's all yours. Well, Kevin, thank you. And Kevin Porter Jr. has a new start with the Rockets. His game has been compared to James Harden's. Porter said, being a lefty, creating off the dribble, that extra swag with the step back, I couldn't ask for a better comparison, honestly. He's unguardable. And Porter Jr. should know, guys, he's the youngest ever to drop a 50-point double-double with assists. That was an impressive performance. David, thank you for that story. And the Houston Rockets starting five. We've got Green, Jayshon Tate out there with Christian Wood. Then there's Buddy Heald, and it's Bridges in at the one spot. And for New Orleans, Ingram and Williamson are the forwards. Irving is out there with MP, and it's Aiton in at the five. And Greg, some players say they watch the standings. Others say they ignore him. Which side were you on? You know, at times I, I did a little of both, but I, I typically wanted to watch, especially when my team was relevant. Uh, There's a couple years where I had no uh, no desire at all to see where our team was because I knew we were pretty close to the bottom. Now here's Williamson off on the layup. Bridges against Irving. Field outside. Pass to Bridges. But Trey. A three-pointer is right on target. Oh, look at Hills and selfish approach. He's working to find everyone in the not just himself. Passes it to Aiton. Kicks it out to MP. And they come right back with their own three points. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. But he's doing so much emphasis on the perimeter of the game. But you can see why after that sequence. Here's Wood. And he just worked New York in that last game. In the corner, Jake with it. Off target with his three. And George Ingram, who brings up the ball for the New Orleans Pelicans. On the wing, MP. Started by Green. Aiton kicks to Irving. It's stolen by Green. On the wing, Bridges. They kick it out to Green. Back to Bridges. Dishes it to Green. 
That shot, no good. And New Orleans will take it the other way. They won their last game against the Rockets in Houston. Well, they, they coasted to the win in that one. Were dominant in the rebound department, and that was a huge factor. Yeah, controlling the flow of second chance opportunities is the key. I and mean, there's something they'll try to replicate tonight. They missed three of their first four shots, having a little trouble finding their legs. The Pelicans coming to this one after the win against Miami. Yeah, those road games are tricky, but, but they had a good strategy going in and stuck to what they do best. Staying with your game plan was so important, especially when you are away from your home arena. Wood in the post. He's covered by Irving. Christian that one Wood. goes. Count it. And undrafted out of college, Wood has dealt with plenty of adversity. I think he can overcome a little bump. Williamson finds MP. Good, and the assist goes to Williamson. MP's got a couple of threes now in the first for New Orleans. Houston's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. And here in the first, approaching three minutes played, here's Green. Rebounded by DeAndre. New Orleans has gone two or two from three-point range here in the first quarter. MP dishes to Williamson. And the Jonathan Williamson. Williamson with the elite ability to finish off contact. It's just not the strength. It's the body control. And here's Bridges. He'll bring it up for Houston. They trail by three. Aiton is a player who break occasionally shoots a three, but it's still a developing part of his game. Yeah, you know, not the best numbers from outside. Does it to go? With his speed, so unique in his style, his grace. And now the first time I've called here for the Rockets. They are coming into this having not to win against the Knicks in their last game. Not like they attacked, but with a purpose. They knew what they wanted to accomplish coming in. But aggressiveness is everything, and they certainly played with a ton of it to get that win. Will it go? Wood can't hit. Pelicans leading by five. Their offense has been great here. Yeah, the ball movement has been terrific. And they can get the defense off balance. Oh, he's the perfect alley oop partner. Zion showing the lift about his hands. Then we all know how it is. Bridges passes to Heal. Here's the pass to Green. Five to shoot. He can't get that one to fall. Some solid defense from Ingram. Here's Williamson. And then Jim down as he goes right over Jalen Green. At 270, Zion is built to take punishment. He's built to do something. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. Scoring breakdown for New Orleans. Well, they're just a team in sync right now. Their passing in the first half has been outstanding. Yeah, they're showing some muscle also in the first half as well and, and getting a lot of their points in the paint. Really like the balance they show. Oh, that's a major league throwdown. Keeps a tight grip on that rim, too, after the finish. And here is MP. He had 34 points in the win against Miami. While he was doing that, he's keeping everybody else involved, too. I mean, he had a tremendous night facilitate. Yeah, they, they have gone full throttle from the opening tip, showing no signs of letting up. Oh, man, they built a monster lead here early on. A lot of this is due to the game plan. Bobbed up there for Green, and Jay Green Green. slams it in. Assistant man. hard to decide Brent which Green. is better the pass, the catch, or the slam. Well, there's no wrong answer. Since it's a sensational alley. The slam intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Yeah, they've been very aggressive, and they've taken early control of this game. Heel pitch to Bridget. Houston needs to get a shot. Three-pointer heel. It's rebounded by New Orleans. For three, Ingram. They grab their own miss. Pass to Aiton. 
Green against MP. Oh, he jams it right over Christian Wood. Wow! And those are bonus points for this team. MP hitting the boards hard. Now a timeout called by Houston. To Houston. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. Looking who's out there now for the Pelicans. Jackson A's, he's checked in for eight. Bain comes in for Brandon Ingram. And Devontae Graham subbed in for Kyrie Irving. The Rockets again can't hit. He's got it inside. You got to have a body on right away. And even three-on-three three break. Martin with it. Now defended by MP. Here's Christopher. Williams in with the block. about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block and a block like that sends a message one that says we're sleep 144 left here in the first quarter yeah really like the defensive focus and intensity at the start good in the assist goes to MP MP's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Here's Bridges. Another key contributor to that nice win against New York. Houston moving the ball around. Here's Shengun. And it's blocked. And it's out of bounds to the Rockets as Houston retains possession. To stop the drought. And there's Bridges on the assist by Martin. Bridges has got six. Pelicans leading by 11. To the middle. Here's MP. And the dunk by MP. And they have owned the paint so far. And the score reflects it. Well, you think defensively that you try to pack in the lane. I mean, but that, then that opens up some opportunities for the shooters. Bridges finds Green. Launches a three. Here's Shengu. And that one is hammered home. And that's a huge play. I mean, they need more like it because second chance points are going to be key in this game. Mm -hmm, probably so. That's usually a crucial element to any comeback. Back to MP. Williamson in the post. He's against Martin. And the dunk by Williamson. Give up on that possession. I love Williamson's commitment and attack mentality. Rockets trail by 13. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game. Here's Bridges. It's rebounded by New Orleans. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Williamson kicks to MP. Shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for him. And so it's New Orleans looking at a 13 point lead heading into the next quarter. They've been putting on a clinic in the paint. Shots are falling with regularity and they are pounding it down low. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in a second. And looking at what we've seen, Pelicans pretty much in control here. Well, in that first quarter, they, they were intent on just pounding the ball down low. If you have a favorite matchup beside, just keep pounding it in there. Steven Adams is out there with Hayes. Then there's Devontae Green. Then it's MP. And it's Bain in at the two ball. That's the Pelicans' five as we get into the second quarter. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Oldham. Hey, guys, MP in the last time out against the Heat did more than get the job done. 
That's he dropped in 34 team points team and seemed to pick apart the defense all night with a ton of assists. His numbers were off the charts. He was unguardable and he knew it. He took advantage of it. Kevin, back to you. Yeah, David, in stretches, he was absolutely down. Greg, he'd love to match that performance tonight. This team needs his contributions. When he's right, he makes winning plays time and time again. It's all about getting into a comfort zone early. When he does that, he could be very difficult to contain the rest of the way. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Yeah, that's what's frustrating because you did the job defensively to get the stop, and then you gave it right back. MD outside. Here's Adams. New Orleans needs to get off a shot. Perfect. It's rebounded by Houston. Shingun's got four rebounds now tonight. Bridges outside. And a miss here on the triple. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. And MP throws it down hard. MP just showing off right there. Give this guy a launching pad. Man, the sky's the limit. Bridges against Graham. And Bain pulls it down. He's not using his head this quarter. He's got to get back to finding how to set shots. And the dunk by Graham. What a read from MP. I love how he looks to get it to his open teammates. And Greg, you had a lot of success playing in college and the NBA, but what was the most fun you ever had playing with a team? That's a tough call, Kevin. I mean, winning oh. tends to be the most fun. Oh. Oh. So I have to probably say it's my UNLV That's team, but we had some great teams at the Knicks, and don't forget about my Blazers. They were also a really competitive team. Some juices for New Orleans. Aiton, he's checked in for Adams. Ingram comes in for Bain. And Irving subbed in for Devontae Green. Tate, he's checked in for the Rockets. He comes in for Bridges. And it's clear how talented a player MB is. When he takes over like this, boy, he is fun to watch. MP against Green to the inside. Shengu, no good. He usually takes advantage of D like that. Should have been a simple lay. It's an alive. And he can stay with it. A towering presence on the offensive glass. Aiton uses his height well to keep possessions alive. Green bounce pass. Here's Shengun. He's guarded by Murphy. Green against MP, and it's Green missing. The Pelicans leading by 22, and it's Ingram missing. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. Take the pass to Shengu. Some solid defense from Aiton. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today, and there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. To the paint. Here's Tate. Good, and it's Green Tate's picking up the Tate. assist. Tate's only got his first points in this one. And it really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early. stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. On the win, MV covered by the heel. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two and the free throw line. And what I like about MV, it's the confidence in which he plays. He feels like he can go at anyone 
in the league. The Pelicans making a switch here. Jones has checked in. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. Pass to Wood. And it's Aiton with the rebound. Aiton's got nine rebounds now tonight. And the dunk by MP. How about the tenacity from MP against the mm -hmm. defense there? That drawing the foul and getting the shot to go. He's made one and this one so far in the game. With his percentage at 87, he's done just about everything they could have asked when it comes to free throw shooting. Well, finally, he's getting himself to the line. He's gotten much more aggressive as the game has gone on. This is it to Tate. Over Ingram. Tate, no good. That's a break for the D right there. I mean, he takes advantage of open looks inside. More often than not, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yeah. You can tell they love to get out and run when the opportunity is there. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. The Rockets again can't hit. And so, MP will bring it up for the Pelicans. It only allowed five points in the quarter. Irving passes to MP. From the arc. And that one is off. And it's Houston the other way. He had two three-pointers in the opening quarter. But it hasn't been able to connect yet here in the second. Heel kicks to Tate. Outside Green. Gets it to go from Jay beyond Green. the arc. Green's Green. got his third basket of the night. Well, they tailored their offense around him. And let me tell you, he loves playing in the system. Here's Jones. And foul He's on the shot, five. so he'll get a chance at the line. That's his first personal foul. So I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Pelican shooting a seven to eight free throw attempt for the game right here. Two shots. And they've been mediocre. All season long, just about 72% from the line. Jackson A's is checked in for Brandon Ingram. Now a timeout called by Houston. Houston. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Without question, they're giving up too many high percentage looks. A trend that they'd like to reverse. Side green. Houston moving it around. Outside Martin. And the pass to Green. And another three for Houston. They're having more success from three-point range here in the second after a rough first quarter from Dean. The feed to MP. And the dunk by MP. There's always a guy left wide open. And more than one observer, Greg, he has called Irving the most entertaining player in the game. What do you think? Keep off. A lot of competition. Perfect. But Irving does some things that no one else can, at least at his level. And then you never know when he's going to give us a juicy sound bite. Houston making a switch here. Bridges checks in. Tate finds Bridges. And the three off target. Still looking for his first points in the quarter. He's not doing anything that helped them cut into the lead. Houston's gone two of four from three point range so far in the second quarter. MP against Teal. They get it again. The Pelicans have gone eight of 14 in the second quarter on field goal attempts. And Jones has it in the corner. it up. He just slams it right in the grill. The Rockets shoot just 26% out there. A terrible showing from an offense capable of much better. 
Now, here's Tate, defended by Jones. An even three-on-three -three break. MP outside. Inside. Here's Hayton. Good in the end. This goes to MP. MP's got six assists now in the game. Two second difference between shot clock and game clock. Healed with the bucket. Healed's got his first basket of the night. I like how Hill gets solid positioning inside. Terrific score close to the basket. MP takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Yeah, that was a very straight high percentage look. The defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. Here's Hill. Good D by Jones. Gets it off. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. And so it's MP making things happen for New Orleans. And his big... As we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. You look at MP in this one, he's been everywhere. No problem fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. Yeah, slicing through the gaps in the defense. I mean, getting many of his buckets in the paint. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. And so in the game for the Rockets. We've got Buddy Heal. Christian Wood is out there with Jayshon Tate. And it's Green, and it's Bridges in at the point. And that one's good, Aiden. And, and really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. Bridges with it. At the elbow, Green. Pass to Heal. Six on the shot clock. Over Aiden. That one a little long. His offense has been non-existent tonight. It's really hurt. Loads it up for Williamson. An emphatic LU champ. He's been this way all night. Williamson can beat you in so many different ways. The Rockets have gone 0-3 and are still looking for that first bucket here in the second half. Looking to end his cold spell. The shot, no good. Some solid defense there from Irving. I don't know what they drew up at halftime, but it ain't working. Oh, for and look at how set up MP is with his guys. They're in perfect rhythm for that alley oop. Bridges passes to Heal. Bangs home the trifecta. Heal's got five. Mm, they needed that one. Maybe they'll get it going after four straight misses to start the half. Irving kicks to Ingram. Pass to MP. In the corner, Irving with it. Bridges with the steal. Passes it to Green. Healed against Ingram. Here's Green. MP grabs the miss. MP's got six rebounds in the game. The pass to Ayton. Some nice passing here by New Orleans. Beyond the clock. MP passes to Williamson. Good in the assist goes to MP. MP's got his eighth assist here tonight. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. Healed with the bucket. Now he's starting to do good work beyond the arc. I mean, had a drive first half, but now they're falling. Down low, stolen away. And it's Houston on the break. Knocked away. For New Orleans, they've gone four for four from the field since the halftime break. Terrific start to the third quarter. And it's Aiton missing. But only the first miss of the second half. They've come out here with authority. The drive by Green, and Green slams it in. I 
tell you what, what a good pain that he showed up today because without him, this thing would already be over. And first time out of the game called for New Orleans. Every time out a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. Now that's what coaches are picking. Substitution and let's take a look here at the scoring breakdown for the Pelicans. Their transition game has been clicking today. You can see why they push the ball every chance they get. And also, guys, they take a lot of pride in their ability to rebound the basketball, especially on the offensive end. Hill, everybody knows he's a talented guard. He's a deadly scorer. He can get hot in a hurry. Now, MP. He's got 34. Here's Christopher. Over MP. Christopher, no good. His touch has been off tonight, and, and, and now his judgment is off too. I mean, come on. That is not possible. What we just, is, is that possible? Uh, I think it is, Greg. Not probable, but like impossible, like you said. Now here's Heald. He's got 10. From outside the arc. No good on that one. And so it's the New Orleans Pelicans. Able to put on a show for the Asians. They've been playing some inspired defense, giving up very few easy points. And we'll be right back after this. And let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to permit that basket. <laughs> no, it's quick decision making. You see a guy open, you can't hesitate. That, that, that's an outstanding play. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. They've got Jackson Hayes. MP out there with Devontae Green. Then there's Herman Gomez, and it's Jones in at the small forward position. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. Matthews scanning the floor. Porter passes to Wood. Good, and a nice assist from Porter. See, rolling out of the screen. Wood is a fluid athlete for a guy inside. MP outside. And you look at the pathway to the NBA for young players, Chris, opportunities now to go forward 16, 17 years of age. Uh, the landscape is certainly changing, isn't it? Well, well the NBA said they're going to take an active role, making sure these teams get the best coaching, training, and, and learning. And overall, I, I see more promise than problems. And Porter, here we go. Elegance pull it in. Hayes has got six rebounds in the game. MP passes to Hayes over Porter, and it's New Orleans scoring again. And 10 of their last 12 coming off the six. Rockets shooting 28%, a rocky, rocky performance for them offensively. To the middle, here's Wood. Pelicans with the rebound. If he was shooting even a little bit better, the story of this game would be a lot different. The drive by MP. Hernan Gomez finds Jones. To the paint, here's Hayes. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Hayes has got nine points here in the second half. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. MP against Matthews. Pass to Garuba. Pelican five. MP. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. That free throw missing. And back the in the day, the Greg, Rockets. Allen Iverson Usman got criticized Dallas. for devaluing the practice. Line. Now we've got healthy players sitting out a game. Has load management gone too far, you think? Stop practice. Stop the game. We got guys missing games, Kevin. There's no doubt about it. But I, honestly, I'm really all for load management in this regard. If I owned a team and I had to invest $200 million in a player, I want to do everything I can to prolong my investment. And the reality is we've got our stars playing at unprecedented levels and higher levels later in their career. So I'm all for doing what we can to prolong the careers of our very best players. 
Matthews against MP. And Matthews kicks to Porter. With nobody on him, Kevin he buries Porter the Jr. jumper. Porter's got his first two points of the night. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. And here is MP. Porter with the steal. And Jones pulls it down. I mean, he struggles with his finishes sometimes. I mean, it's kept him from being an elite player. And MP pulls it down. And the decisiveness of MP on display. Have to be aware of his ability to knife his way inside. MP against Matthews. The kick out to Porter. Lock at six. Second shot opportunity. And the rejection by MP. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. And he tries to win. And MP goes it down. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. They're starting to take over here, building a big lead that could ultimately prove insurmountable. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need the basket. Wood can't hit. The kick out to Matthews. Jacks up a three. Baba up top. Shoots a three. No good that time. So the Pelicans will take it the other way. They host the Clippers after this game. That'll be the second of four games at home for them. Yeah, yeah. letting it rip. They're just having fun right now. Well, they're playing well as a unit, taking shots they know they can make and building this lead. And we just got a second look there at the exceptional mobile one block. And big defensive plays like that will help them stay in control of this one. Matthews. It's rebounded by New Orleans. You gotta give him credit for his confidence. He hasn't hit a single shot this quarter, but he's still keep firing. Right Foreman, the pass to MP. Pass to Hernan Gomez. Good in the assist goes to MP. And this offense is in a perfect rhythm. You can see how they're finishing their play. Yeah, right now it feels like they can't miss, but we'll see how long they can make this last. Porter against Hernan Gomez. Porter, no luck. He's lost it <laughs> in this quarter, no doubt about it. Nothing. <laughs> And how's that for a, a, a one-man show? Put this fella on Broadway. <laughs> the most magnificent alley-oop we could have seen. Here's Porter. He clanks that one off the back iron, and down it falls. Porter's got four points in the quarter. New Orleans has gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. Passes to Hayes. Two minutes remaining in the game. It's over Matthews. Matthews with the rebound. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. It's Matthews on the wing. Pelicans pull it in. Renan Gomez has got rebound number five here tonight. Here's MP. And another one falls. Amazing. And he's up to 52 points. Yeah, making a GA look all too easy right now. Matthews passes to Wood, and he comes Christian up with the Wood. deuce. And it's six points for Christian yeah, Wood. And, and, you know, he's got a wide range of skills inside. Wood's ready for whatever the defense throws at him. To the inside. Finish off by Hernan Gomez. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration. Yeah, you can safely say mission accomplished now for the Pelicans. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. And guys, at this point, the long NBA season is over down as win number 25. And as we get set to put this one to bed, a one-sided season series thus far, they've won two straight. And beyond the actual result of this game, fans are going to look back and, and see this was just a monstrous performance for MP. His passes were crisp tonight. Pinpoint. So many easy buckets came off his assist. 
beyond the arc. He got it again. Oh, sensational. And this game has his name written all over it. Greg, he's been phenomenal in offensive onslaught. And Porter, here we go. That's tipped. Shot the game clock separated by five. Jones, no one around him. And it's off from three-point range. Inside, Garuba the pass to Porter. No good. So we see the Pelicans taking it. Total control operating flawlessly, and the other just searching for answers that they could never find. I mean, the energy here is just so tremendous. Fans involved from the get-go, and once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see that rhythm and flow from their perspective. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg All Anthony, right, check this out, MP. My kid started organized ball, and his coach told him that he has to work on his rebounding if he wants to get more playing time. He thinks it isn't fair, because he's pretty good at scoring, and scoring's what wins you games. Now, as a great rebounder yourself, what would you tell my son about his coach's decision to have him focus more on the boards? Okay, look, this, this is right here, this is for the kids. Because when you're young, you should be